This is New Hampshire Cross Country, powered by Runners Alley and Marathon Sports. Coming at you from the Division II State Championships. This year's Meet Hub brought to you by Tim's Truck Capital. We have our girls D2 Championship in front of us, and this is going to be a really good race. Oyster River, top team in the state, ranked number one. They're obviously top team in this division. Very, very strong team. Looking to challenge them is Hanover, currently ranked number two in the state. We'll see how close those two can get today. Plymouth, other ranked team in this. They're coming in at eighth. Also teams in the mix to be aware of. Sauhegan, Cobrown, brown Hollisbrook Line, Merrimack Valley. Tim, Jimmy, what are we looking at? Well, right from the top, Oyster River and Hanover. Last year they leapfrogged one another. Like every other one was either an Oyster River, Hanover, Oyster River, Hanover, almost all the way right through the top 10. But uh, today, uh, Hanover, let's talk about Leah Perrot. She's uh, top seed coming back. She was the beat of champions. Uh, winner last year so she is the top seed not necessarily the favorite though right um, her teammates been running with her all year yeah. uh, Ferris Ferris unbelievable yeah, she's been running with her all year and, and but you know what they're taking a bit of a different approach they've been going to different meets um, all for the purpose of this championship season you know they wanted to be fresher they wanted to be faster for this time they didn't, they didn't want to be all raced out for this time and uh, I expect big things from them today backing up to Oyster River you know the entries that we saw there's a couple names missing but keep in mind Mind, this lineup, like my, minus Mackenzie Cook, who didn't run Battle of the Border, still won Battle of the Border. And they still beat Pinkerton, a very good Pinkerton squad. So they they still, in my mind, are the favorites because you add Mackenzie Cook to that Battle of the Border lineup, it gets, gets even better. So it's going to be it's gonna be a dogfight out there for sure between Hanover and Oyster River. It's just a lot closer than what it, what it could have been. Yeah, last year it was a four-point difference, 29 to 33. It's going to be think similar, I think. And they've both beaten Sh yeah. Champlain Valley yeah. this year. Yep. And, it, and nothing against all the other races we got today right. these are the two best teams in the state now also keep Boy in mind girl. the new media champions qualifying today top five schools automatically make it but even if you're six your days your season might not be over as a team because the next three average best average times per team out of all three divisions make it at the end of the day okay guns up other teams looking for <laughs> Waiting until it starts. Other teams looking to make it to meet a champions. Hollis, Brookline, Sauhegan, Coe Brown, Merrimack Valley. Those are the other teams that are in, in, in vi vying for the meet a champions berth. Also, keep an eye out there today. Ellie Eglin of uh, Plymouth. Mm -hmm. Samantha Plymouth Schwabon, is another team. Sauhegan. Sorry about that. Yep. Yeah, uh, 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 Plymouth is another team that could qualify as well. They've been ranked this year. Plymouth's definitely been putting up some good. Uh, I would expect Plymouth athletes. to make it. Guns up. Okay, we're off. 2024 Division II Girls State Championship. They're coming at us again. Oyster River top team coming into it. Hanover looking to challenge. We'll see who wants to come out early on for our leaders. Who as the individual wants this the most? We've got a number of favorites in this. As they come up the hill, we'll take a closer look at who's up in front. It's like a Milford athlete. Start. Line. Oyster River out front, Samantha Swanbond dangling. The pack's going to form pretty much immediately. Larry per Perriard by this time last year was way up, but she looks like she's being very patient. They got out well. Good start up the hill. Throw it down just a little bit further. All right, we are here at the 600 meter mark. They're probably Swan coming up in on the lead. lead. Yep, Swan Vaughn from Sauhegan right in the like lead. Got a, and Cook. And then you got a, a big uh, Hanover contingent. Yep. Three of them right in there. Leah Perriard. Megan Ferris Megan as well. Ferris. Those two have been leading their squad. They're the favorites, or the, the right. second favorites coming Ellie, in just Ellie besides Ellie there as well. The three from Stop. Hanover right now up with Oyster River top two. Right now Hanover's got six in front of Oyster River's three. Some more Salhegan girls coming through. It looks like Salhegan. I know that I'm missing Plymouth. I should have been counting them a little bit more because they should be up in the rankings yeah. as well. So you got your number one and number two teams in the state right now. You got Oyster River and Hanover respectively. Also two of the top teams in New England. We're going to see how they shake up. Oyster River's been dealing with some injuries, but uh, 
you know, we'll see, we'll see how this race shakes up. It's a little too early to call any team scores, but I... Here we are coming down, nearing the end of the starting first loop. Big pack up front there. Yeah, hard to see for a second, but it looks like Swanbun is up there with some Oyster River girls. Kavanaugh, Cook, Perard, and Ferris are all right there. Yeah, Swanbun actually looks like she's like out in the lead. Yeah, it looks like she might be up by stride on both Kavanaugh yeah. and Cook. Ellie England up there for Plymouth as well. Yeah, Hanover crew too, right there with Cook and so Kavanaugh. Hanover's got their top three up there like we expected. Yeah. And then another three from Hanover, so this yep. would be uh, somewhat of an upset, and there's another a four or five from Oyster River. Yeah, so we knew coming in this would be a huge battle between Oyster River and Hanover, and Hanover right now looking really good in the team standings. Looks like we got the rest of the Sauhegan girls coming in here. I think Oyster River's six and seven. Uh, no, actually, that's got to be five, five six, six for Oyster River. Okay. So yeah, they've got some ground to make up if they want to catch up to Hanover. Yeah, their five needs to move up quite a bit to uh, to get into Hanover's ballpark here. Yeah, I think Hanover what, had their top six in that top 15. Yes. Yeah. And there's a pretty sizable gap, I'd say, after 25 as well, right? Yeah, so it's it's going to be a lot of work for those Hanover, uh, excuse me, Oyster River girls. Now, they ran an incredible second mile at the Manchester Invitational earlier this year. Obviously pulled off the victory there. So they are they do run this the second half of this course extremely well. So that's something to keep in mind. Yeah, absolutely, and especially since that second mile is just super tough. But we're going to set it over after this. Teammates working together. So the uh, the middle and the back. Yeah. <laughs> good. You ready? You ready? All right, Kavanaugh taking a look. Cavanaugh and Cook of Oyster River out in front, and then two for Hanover. This is two Oyster River, two Hanover in the top four. So we talked about those two teams, and no surprise at this point, they're just passing the mile mark. Can they're see Eglin of uh, Plymouth, Swanbon of Sawhegan. Hanover's, right now Hanover's got a slight lead. But they're all right there. Oh yeah, no one is out of it at this point. You can see that tree on the right of the screen is right about where your one mile mark is. So as soon as they're passing it like that group is, they're going through it. This is setting up to be an outstanding race. Oh, yeah. You know things are going to happen in that second mile. But it's so close. As I said last year, it was only a four-point difference. This could this could even be closer. Yeah. I mean, you look at it, the top, you know, 10, 15, 20 girls. Majority of them, they're Hanover Oyster River. So you know it's going to be a, a tough one as we see a couple more Oyster River there. So right now, I mean, we know they're going to be one, two in some order. Third place... Honestly, I, I don't know at this point. Well, there's no doubt Hanover's winning this race right now. That's the there, 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 there we go. So that was Oyster yep. Rivers. Yep. That was their seven. So there was five and six running together. There's so not a lot of displacement moving. in between those girls, right. but there's enough for Hanover to win. Yeah, no, that's a good catch, Jimmy. I tell you, it's a great day for racing right now. The temperature is perfect for them, good conditions. I think as the day progresses, the wind's gonna pick up a little bit, but right now it's not too bad. And, you know, a lot of this course from here on out, they're, they're in the woods for the next mile. Now you can't ask them. You know, you, we've had some really bad days and we've had some snowfall. Oh yeah. <laughs> can't, uh, can't complain. Always remember that 2020 started in the snow and ended up uh, pretty muddy by the end of the day. All right, 
right, majority of the girls pass us. You know, I'm really curious to see what's happening at the top of the hill, so we'll go ahead and throw it on over. All right. Looks All like right. Cook from, uh, oh. That is oh, Cook, Cook, isn't Cook it? <laughs> it's it's, it's Cooker Kavanaugh. I think that's, I think that's Haley. <laughs> We got Haley. That's Kavanaugh. Haley, but the other one's right behind. Cook. So Haley and Cook are right behind each Leah other. Ferrard, Megan Ferris, Ellie England. I see five Hanovers right there. We've got our third and fourth Oyster River. So there's Hanover's five and yep. Oyster River's three. And four. four right and four. Him. So Oyster River right now has one and two, one, but Hanover's one. three, four. This is really what we're Hanover, expecting. Oh my lord, Hanover's number six just stopped and walked. That's not good for that. But we're still looking for Oyster Rivers. Lebanon's top runner, but we're still looking for Oyster Rivers number five. So like you said, they they have two girls out from their top seven. We're gonna see how this race shakes up. We gotta roll and get to the top of the uh, other hill for the two mile. We'll see you there. We're at the uh, top of the mark. second hill, two mile mark. Haley Cavanaugh on the lead. She's opened up a big lead. We're probably looking at 20 seconds over the two. She's running great. We're at like 12.45 at the two miles where we were at. Behind her, we got Ferris. There's Ferris of Hanover. So she overtook Cook of Oyster River to break up that one, two. Yep. And that's big for Hanover because Oyster River's five was pretty far back to start the, yep. or at the uh, one mile mark. They've been so dealing we'll with some injuries and some illness. Here comes Leah Perard and she in third. Also <coughs> broke followed up that by one too. Ellie England and then Maddie Cook. Oh, that's not even. I think that's Olivia Cavanaugh. Yeah. Then we've got Hanover's three, Oyster River's three. There's Bizanson. But here come the next two Hanover girls. Hanover, if they can hold this, they got it wrapped up. They've got five in the top ten, um, including two and three. Lebanon's top runner. So now we got to start, we, we got to start, keep our eyes out for. Oh, there, there's Mackenzie Cook. Oh, this is difficult for me to watch. I know she's doing it for a team. We got to give her a lot of kudos for that for sure. Um, and then there's a gap. So, Oyster River, we had heard that there was some, some injury and illness, uh, and I think they're looking to just make their way to meet a champions and see where it goes from there. Yeah, I think that's Cook's <coughs> first race in a while, but yep. here comes With Swan, Swan Bond. Bond. Right there, girl. Uh, Hannah Pawalski of Bo. Uh, Sauhegan's two, Cole Brown's one and two. There's Oyster River's that's five. five. That's five. So there's a Ple another Plymouth. Whitney Adair of Conval. So right now we're really looking at the uh, one spot seems to be Hanover, then followed by Oyster River. And then we're really looking at Sauhegan, Plymouth, and maybe CBNA for that for that three spot. It could be. Um, it really kind of probably depend what happens in this next minute or so, really. Right, you really got to push this downhill, and, and we'll see who comes through and what spot. I don't think we've seen the three for any of those three teams yet. We have not. Oh, no, we saw three for three for Plymouth. Three for that, Plymouth? Yeah. You got this, Matty! <coughs> Lebanon second. There's Merrimack Valley's top girl, Addy. There's a uh, third for Sauhegan and a second for Valley for a minute. I thought that was going to be Plymouth. Pembroke. Here's another Oyster River girl. Now we've got another one from Plymouth, and then I believe that's their fifth. So Plymouth seems to have that three spot. We're looking at a top three of Hanover, Oyster River, and Plymouth. If everything from the two-mile right. stands, I mean, there's a big downhill yeah, that they're going to hit. And then we, we saw some change between the top of the hill at yeah. a mile and a quarter and the two-mile mark. So yeah. anything can really happen, <clears throat> but that's kind of what we're seeing right now. Some more Hanover and Oyster Rivers going through. There's another Plymouth, so I, that's they're definitely got at least five, if not six, in before either the other. The two, two teams have their uh, fourth. From Lebanon, another one from Cole Brown. I believe that's their that's third. That's three. That's three. 
couple of Hollis Brookline so girls. Top five make MOCs. On, top five make MOCs. So right. we're probably looking at Hanover, OR, <laughs> Sauhegan, Plymouth, and Co. Brown at this point in time. It's looking like that. That's probably the case. So here's Lebanon a bunch could, of Lebanon. Yeah. yeah, they had they had that one girl up front. Hollis Brookline's put in a bunch in just the last minute and a half. Another Plymouth coming in. There's two. Oh, never mind. Hollis and Plymouth. Come on, yeah. Jesse, let it go. Let's that, go. That's go. Plymouth's like big 400 meter girl. Oh, running cross country. Yes, Mary. Yes, Mary. Yes, Mary. And here's South Hegan again. Is that Hagen. five? I'm guessing that that is because the coach is sliding down. Yep. Coach so is I getting pretty he's, excited. Yep. Yeah, there's another. We, and we see another one. So. I would say that's top five if he's moving and then they're six, yeah. the, the, not leaving before they're fifth. Yeah. So right now the clock reads 17-10. <clears throat> We've seen a lot of Lebanon through too. We have, yeah. So they could be sneaking into the top, the top five spot, possibly. There's the seventh for Salgin, probably the seventh for Plymouth, I would think. They got a few through. Co Brown's only got five, but again, the top five scores. So that's the important part. Yep. Unless you come down to a tiebreaker. Ah. Uh, yeah, I don't know exactly how that works. I, I think they go to the top six. I think they go no, to no, six. No, so no. Yeah, no, they definitely do go to the six in high school. But what, what is it if you don't have a six? No, I think it's head to head. <coughs> whoever no, I don't, I don't highest, know. How, I don't, whoever I don't, had the highest, you know, top runner. I know that runner, um, last year they used that at um, the national championships for, for really for NCAA's, and it came down to uh, um, it, 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 it was they don't go to the sixth runner. They yeah. do the how many head to head yeah. uh, your first versus their first, and so on and so forth. <laughs> Milford. Thumbs to the camera. Having a good day, obviously. I don't think you do that when you're having a bad day. Nope, nope. Seem to be in a good, a good yeah. headspace there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not sure who that is. I'm guessing that maybe that's Laconia. Uh, it is. I haven't seen those uniforms before. I like them. Kind of oh, retro nice. throwback to the diagonal stripe. A right, couple so of Kennet runners in Timberlane. All right, and so as the clock gets towards the 19-minute mark, Close I'm assuming down. it's probably gone down to the finish right now. We're going to see how the uh, how the end of the race shakes up, and uh, get ready for the yeah, boys get ready race. for the boys race. Here's Kavanaugh off the front, driving the corner, heading down towards the finish. Final loop, substantial lead for her. It looks like Hanover right there. Is that Perard? It looks like Perard. So yeah, just. Just talking beforehand, said Kavanaugh and Perard would be one and two. Pretty substantial lead for both of them, but Kavanaugh looks like she's actually fair. strong. That's fair. That's fair. From Hanover. So, excuse me, Ferris from Hanover going to be second. And again, they've put on a huge gap from the rest of the pack. This is Hanover. This be Perard. This is Followed Perard. closely by Cook, so they're going to be even through their first two runners each. This is going to be uh, Ellie Youngland from uh, Plymouth. So again, Hanover and Oyster River even through two. Now, now Oyster River's third. And Hanover's third. So they're neck and neck right here in the, in the team team battle but it looks like Hanover's going to put in another before Oyster River oh uh, and this they're is gonna their put four in two. and they're five so unless we see another couple Oyster Rivers right now so here's Kavanaugh coming down about to round the final corner for the finish just a dominant display by by her she must have really put on a, a, an unbelievable second mile. Well, here comes Ferris, though. Ferris is closing in just a little bit. Not sure if it's going to be enough, but she is closing. Coming around the tree, that's Haley Kavanaugh. She is well out in front, as we have seen. Did have a little bit of a look back, but no reason for that. It's just her on this finishing stretch. Great race for the senior from Oyster River. 
Megan Ferris just came on to the straightaway. She's the second for Hanover. There's your champ right there, Haley Kavanaugh, 2024 Division II state champion. Because Megan Ferris. She had a good kick right there. She closed that distance down, continues to push the pace. So good finish from her as well. Again, Oyster River and Hanover top two teams. We feel like uh, last we saw the mile, Hanover had that edge. And I believe that Kenzie Cook is out of the race as we've got Oyster River's number two here. And I believe that um, Olivia Kavanaugh. Watch out for the post. Olivia Kavanaugh, that, the Kavanaugh girls had a great day today. Leia Parad, 309 of Hanover, followed by Ellie Englund. Go, Liv! Madeline Cook. Great day. Deeb of Hanover. Making her way in. So Hanover's gonna win this pretty easily today. Yeah, they Lily Larrick. Alice Bell. And that's our first Lebanon girl. There we go. I believe that was Annalise Hanna. Junior from Lebanon. Actually, Olivia Hanna, right? Was it? Is it junior? Maybe I'll miss the number. Did you get the number right? I thought so until you said something. Well, I tell you though, you look at that. They're they're well out in front of everyone else. That's a pretty good, pretty good battle up front to get there. And speaking of battles, here we go. We've got Bo and Sao Hegan. This could be a good battle. Bo with a strong kick. Sao Hegan attempted a match. Taking this one. Yeah. Anna Kowalski, she outdoes, does uh, Samantha Swanbond. It's Jari. Yeah. Yeah. Go, Jari! Yeah. Milford. Go! Boyce River, Sal Hall. Sal Hegan. Go, Nero, go get it. Plymouth and Co. Brown in that group. Brown after them, followed by John Stark. On, Timberlane. So five teams automatically go on to MOCs. We definitely know who the top two are. We're still doing the math Let's on. Go, you got this last race. Come on. What else have we got in? Lebanon finishing up. Yeah, a little dinged up, but they're both Pembroke Academy, Merrimack Valley, a couple of Mac Valley girls, other Sao Egan. Sao Egan looks like they might be going on. Individual battle between the teams. It's going to be Plymouth finishing next, followed by another Plymouth teammates. Good. Plymouth had a pretty decent day today. See if they, can, uh, yeah, they, 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 they might be in that uh, nice job, top five mix. Yeah. It's funny, sometimes when you have 
two really dominant teams like that, it's that much harder to watch and see who's third and fourth and fifth are. It really is. They're really, they're really close, actually. I mean, last year, the difference between Sowegan and... Sowegan and Plymouth was one point difference last year. The third and fourth mile. Hey, Davio. Hey, oh, Faster. Thanks. <laughs> Co Brown finishing up, followed by Timberlane with a pair. Davio, I hate you. <laughs> Just kidding, we love Davia. All is for flying fishing up. I guess I missed that. Did you get to the last race too? Uh, this year. This year. Yeah. Sand won't get moved down also. Lebanon, Hall is for flying. I tell you, I, I did a second take of the owls. I knew they moved down. Yeah. But I was like, is there another owls I'm neglecting? Plymouth, Cole Brown. I feel like I've said a lot of Plymouth at this point. Yeah, I won't get on it. See Sauhegan finishing there. Lebanon is going to be next down the line. Let's go, Lee! Come on! Starting to pick it up there. Lebanon, John Stark, Hollis, Brookline, Sauhegan. Another from Lebanon picking off another number. That could be the difference he's getting. I, you know, I, I think this is going to be pretty interesting on the, the team side of things when we're talking about that. You know, three, four, five spot, specifically the five spot. Again, top five do move on to be the champions. The sixth place team has a chance yeah, at, at large bid. I don't think it's going to come out of Division Two. I really don't. But it, I think I think today for this race, I agree with you. I think that there's absolutely no reason it can't be one of those divisions stepping up to do it. And you know, I, I'm sure we'll see that. I could be wrong on that. Just never know. You never know who's at full strength today. There's a lot of kids sick. Oh, yeah. it's. I mean, it's that time of year, and I, I think, you know, I did hear Tim say it, and I, he was talking to a lot of coaches. He probably already said it, but, yeah, you know, most coaches he talked to, they have at least one sick kid on the team. It's it's going around, and it does make a difference. And Some of these teams are just not as deep as they used to be. They're strong up front. And you, sometimes you gotta, you gotta dig down deep, and that can add on some numbers. Right. Yeah, I mean, you know, every year there's that team that's reliant on that sixth place person to step it up. And I mean, we saw, you know, Oyster River had to Cook out today or during the race, so they, they need, you know, six and seven to, to move on up. And, they did enough to get to next week, and ultimately, I think that's their goal right now. I think they're going to be fine with that. You, you always want to win divisions, but their their goal is a few weeks out still. The Oyster River has some kids, and they were missing kids from last year that placed in the top seven. Two kids. <laughs> that's right. Benson and uh, Roy. So, just shows the program strengths. And we'll take a look at these ladies finishing up. John Stark is next. Bottom line, if you get if you get if you get enough wheels, you can get to next week. That's right. If you get to next week, then you get to the next prize. Well, speaking of next week, we're going to get ourselves to the next race. So once again, this has been your 2024 Division II Girls State Championship. <laughs> New Hampshire Cross Country, powered by Marathon Sports and Runner's Alley Meet Hub today. All this coverage brought to you by Tim's Truck Capital as well. we got to head on over and get ready for our boys' Division II race coming up next.